Unstable Diffusion just got banned. Hello friends, big news in the AI community today. I was reading on Reddit and I saw in the Stable Diffusion subreddit that Kickstarter has suspended Unstable Diffusion. And we can read the message here that a user got uh, in his email. And it says, Hello, this is a message from Kickstarter's trust and safety team. We're writing to let you know that a project you recently backed, Unstable Diffusion, unrestricted AI art powered by yada yada yada, has been suspended. As a result, your third dollar pledge has been automatically cancelled and you will not be charged. No further action is needed. We take the integrity of the Kickstarter system very seriously. We only suspend projects when we find strong evidence that they are misrepresenting themselves or otherwise violating the letter or spirit of Kickstarter's rules. It's kind of interesting here when they say when they find strong evidence. And I read somewhere that it was um, in regards to the intellectual property. And as I've understood it, Unstable Diffusion were going to train a completely new model with a new data set. And uh, that the old data set that the Stable Diffusion used was not to be part of this. So there should be no IP issues. But... I don't know. I'm just guessing here. We may also suspend projects when they are the subject of an unresolved intellectual property dispute and or valid intellectual property claim. And that's basically it here, an unresolved intellectual property dispute. And while there isn't an unresolved intellectual property dispute for what Unstable Diffusion is claiming that they will do, as they haven't really done it yet, um, I can understand their point of view, but but still, mm. anyway. As a policy, we do not offer comment on project suspensions beyond what is stated in this message. We know this isn't ideal, but we do sincerely hope to see you again soon, backing one or more of the amazing projects that do cross the finish line without a hitch each and every day. Best wishes, Kickstarter. Uh, again, this is not mine because uh, I actually didn't back this project. Uh, but this is from a uh, user Dumpy 66 And I checked their Kickstarter page and it's correct. It says here funding suspended and it was suspended by Kickstarter about two hours ago. And it had actually reached, you know, quite far. And now this is in uh, Swedish crowns, but this is basically, you can divide this by 10 to get dollars. So it's basically $58,000 pledged of the 26 thousand dollar goals with 867 backers so it's been a very successful project and it's now gone well the project isn't gone but their kickstarter is suspended for now now i know i think they still have a patreon up and i've reached out to um arman from unstable diffusion he's the main guy there i've been talking to him a little bit but I haven't heard back yet. I assume he's uh, getting spammed now from basically everyone. But it would be interesting to see what they have to say about this. If there's a chance that they can be unsuspended. Or if it's just dead in the water in Kickstarter. I had a look at their uh, Discord and it's going absolutely bananas right now. Which is understandable. They've built a huge community around this. And um, the main part or the main source of income has just been uh, deleted. And it'll be interesting to see what they do if they open this up on another platform. But um, as of right now, no more Kickstarter. Now for you who doesn't know what's going on, Unstable Diffusion is a project that wants to have no censorship when it comes to AI art. With that said, there are some limitations on the training. It was supposed to be an 18 plus model at least. So um, I think that was a good choice of them. And there's actually a blog post here on Kickstarter's um, page, which was posted uh, today. Our current thinking on the use of AI generated image software and AI art. And it says here in, in summary here, Kickstarter must and will always be on the side of creative work and the humans behind that work. It's kind of interesting that they're taking that stance uh, now and so early. I wonder what... What costs that? Maybe they have a significant share of their income or revenue from creators. So let's see what they say. I want to share some of our thoughts on artificial intelligence, generated images, and AI art as it develops, because many creators on Kickstarter are understandably concerned about its impact on the creative community. 
At Kickstarter, we often have projects that are innovative and push the boundaries of what's possible. That means we're sometimes navigating some really tricky and undefined areas. Over the last several days, we've engaged our community advisory council and we read your feedback to us via our team and social media. And one thing is clear, Kickstarter must and will always be on the side of creative work and humans behind that work. We're here to help creative work thrive. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of interesting. So they're taking a stance against AI. And I think, first of all, I think it's futile. And as an artist myself, actually working professionally, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, come on, adapt or get replaced, people. It's like trying uh, to prevent uh, when computers arrive to try to take over from traditional artists. I mean, come on. As we look at what's happening here in the creative ecosystem on our platform, here are some of the things we're considering when it comes to what plays AI image generation software and AI generated art should have on Kickstarter, if any. As a project copying or mimicking an artist's work, we must consider not only if a work is straightforward copyright claim, but also evaluate situations where it's not so clear, where images that are owned or created by others might not be on a Kickstarter project page but are in the training data that makes the AI software used in the project without the knowledge, attribution, or consent of creators. So there we have it again about the data set. And again, Unstable Diffusion said that they weren't going to use the data set that was the original. I don't know. I'm not going to comment more on that. Does a project exploit a particular community or put anyone at risk of harm? We have to consider the intention behind projects, sometimes beyond their purpose as stated on our platform. Our rules prohibit projects that promote discrimination, bigotry, or intolerance towards marginalized groups. And we often make decisions to protect the health and integrity of Kickstarter. So, yeah, I think, I mean, Unstable Diffusion is controversial. I think taking the stance against AI, that's just, you know, some part of it. I think the bigger fight here is, you know, the moral moral fight. And again, obviously, money behind this. And they finish to say, this tech is really new. And we don't have all the answers. The decisions we make now might not be the ones we make in the future. So we want this to be an ongoing conversation with all of you. You can share your thoughts by writing to us, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. Kickstarter takes a huge stance against AI art. And I think whether or not they do it towards unstable diffusion, what they're going to do, now that's, I mean, okay, that's a whole other issue. But saying that you take a stance against AI art, that's a bad move. And I think it's going to cost them in, in the long run. But again, I, I mean, I'm biased. I'm an artist who likes AI art. So um, I think AI art is going to take over. And if you're on the wrong side, you're going to be replaced. What do you think? Put your uh, ideas or thoughts in the comments below. And, uh, well, and we'll follow this discussion up in the comments. Have a good one, guys. See ya.